Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Vishwajit Mahato and today we are going to uh, start a new PDF question answering tool uh, uh, example uh, in using Langchain and OpenAI. So let's start uh, like you know so uh, what I have done is I have created a github uh, page wherein I have uploaded uh, like you know the code for this part uh, like you know this is the PDF, PDF question answering tool uh, using Langchain and OpenAI. So this has like you know what we will do the features of this tool is basically like you know uh, you can upload a particular PDF then uh, using that PDF it will do text splitting then it will uh, have a new vector store creation using chroma DB and then we'll do some chunking there and uh, like you know we'll have a semantic similarity based question answering in the final part okay so uh, uh, this is what it is and how do you uh, like you know run this thing uh, so it's what you need to do is you just need to clone this repository and then create a virtual environment and then install the dependencies like you know i have uh, told in the previous uh, videos as well how do you do these things and then you need to create one dot env file uh, for this project so like you know this dot env file you just need to have this these things uh, open ai key and then you'll have to put the open ai key that you'll get from the openai.com okay that's it and rest is like you know how do you run it like you know python drag dot py so let's go to the code and see like you know what is like you know how, how the code structure is okay so i have already like you know created the rag environment so you can create you can deactivate it and like you know i'll just deactivate it and then activate it again drag env slash bin slash activate okay just a minute what happened okay sorry i just didn't put source only so rag env slash bin slash activate uh, so now your uh, uh, virtual environment is activated uh, now to run this code what you need to do is like you know you will do a pip install minus r requirements dot txt once you run it uh, like you know uh, all these things so like you know as it is already installed for me otherwise we'll have to uh, like you know, install it uh, one one time okay so now for this uh, code let's go to the code and what we have done here is like you know in the main function we are calling all the fun uh, functions out here so before that i will uh, see what all the imports that we are doing so whatever that you have installed in like you know requirement.txt it is all out here uh, so like you know requirement.txt is a big file out here just because uh, like you know all the uh, other things are also included like you know there are basically five to six things that you need to install and these will be installed together with them so like you know uh, just to uh, see like you know what all imports we are doing let's uh, co come back to the code so in the code we are seeing that you know we are just doing import os then like you know from dot env to load the uh, env file so env file i am not going to show here because it, it includes my code uh, open ai uh, then uh, you need to install a langchain hugging face uh, langchain community vector store uh, from there we will uh, download the chroma db uh, then uh, uh, langchain core uh, langchain open ai for the chat open ai and then text splitter from langchain uh, this text splitter is basically like you know uh, when you download a pdf and extract the text and then we what we do is like we create into a chunks so like you know we will split the uh, text part into several chunks out there uh, so let's move into the code now okay so in the main function what we have done is the first part we have read uh, the pdf uh, like you know this is the pdf path that i have given so uh, what i have done is i have taken the reliance uh, industries uh, annual report as one of my file and i have loaded that pdf so this load function load pdf function will be called here in the first part and then uh, after the document is loaded we we call the like you know uh, split document so like you know to move to a split document you need to do control click like, you know, go to control and then click you will move to this function so this split document before that is split documents what we were doing we were using pi pdf loader we were uh, uh, loading the pdf uh, so 
if the pdf is present then it will load the pdf and uh, send send back the documents okay and next is the split document uh, thing so what we are what we need to do out here is we need to give the chunk size so chunk size is the amount of characters that you need to have in your chunks so let's say if you want to have 500 uh, characters in your chunks then you will have you will put the character size is 500 if it is like you know if you want to have a thousand chunk size then you can put that that depends on the use case to use case basis uh, in this use case i thought that you know this is the best case scenario then i for the chunk overlap like you know uh, i am taking 100 so this chunk overlap is basically the overlap there are let's say there are chunk one and chunk two so between these two things uh, sometimes it may happen that you know uh, some information is the is in the first chunk and some information is in the second chunk so like you know uh, it doesn't give you the full answer so in that scenario like you know uh, uh, chunk overlapping is required uh, just to process the whole information okay so using recursive character splitting uh, we will uh, like split the uh, document and then send it back okay now again yeah so uh, uh, after splitting uh, what we will do we will we'll go to the like you know create vector store uh, in this vector store we need to mention the embedding model uh, that that we will use so basically like you know in a rag based model uh, you need to have uh, an embedding model. So what the, what an embedding model does is like you know it converts your text uh, to a num numerical value. So every uh, everything will be uh, like you know uh, means, uh, like let's say if it is a dog, a dog dog will be given a number. Similarly, a cat will be given a number. So every word out there will be given a number, and th those numbers will be stored in a vector store. So in this vec in this vector store we are using is Chroma, uh, uh, but in production grade environment. You can use uh, like you know any vector store that you have uh, like you know uh, either if you are using uh, Azure if you are using Google uh, so depending op upon your use case you can uh, like you know, use any of them uh, I will create uh, like you know this is just for local testing purpose so we are using Chroma as of now uh, but in in the environment uh, like you know in the production environment that you will be working in your company uh, you will be using uh, some other vector st store so you need to learn more about the other uh, like you no know, vector store that that is paid this is an open source version. Uh, that is uh, like you know freely available in the market okay so then like you know when uh, so in this uh, thing we are using hugging face embedding and then uh, like you know we are ret uh, returning the vectors okay okay so this vector store uh, after this vector store what we are doing to we need to create a qna chain so what we do is basically again uh, we need to uh, like you know call the lang chain uh, here a retriever uh, so we'll retrieve uh, like you know the top three uh, similar chunks to our query so whatever be our like you know query uh, this will retrieve the uh, top three uh, similar chunks from that uh, let's say uh, i i uh, for this particular example uh, i will ask a question that you know who is the chairman of um, reliance industries so it will try to find the like you know who is the chairman and the reliance industries uh, who is the chairman uh, this part it will try to find uh, the chunks uh, let's say there are like you know we have created thousand chunks so out of thousand chunks it will try to find like you know, which chunk is similar to this thing then it will retrieve the top three similar chunks that will give you the answer so uh, the, uh, this number again uh, is uh, dependent on you uh, on what uh, like you can choose five or ten so this is just to for a safe case, case that's why i'm taking three otherwise normally people take five or ten out there okay so once this chain is uh, there then the final part that we need to do is like you know give the query it will invoke this chain and uh, pass on the query uh, so query i have like you know asked right now who are the auditors of the financial uh, for, for the financial year of reliance okay and then we are getting the response uh, like you know the uh, response will be a uh, uh, dictionary see this dictionary will have source documents as well as the response so uh, uh, we are we will try we will print out both of them out here just to see like you know whether we are getting the source documents or not so uh, this source document is required like whenever you are creating a rag document so your business you uh, like you know uh, users will ask you like you know from which page you have actually queried this part let's say you are uh, using an sop document for a uh, for any any like you know uh, chat based uh, solution uh, so like you know any for a bpo and all those things so what people do is like you know they will go and check manually that okay this is the actual answer from this sop document uh, that we have found out so uh, 
uh, that source source documents are highly required okay so let's uh, like you know let's just check it out and uh, like you know run run our code uh, so this is basically we'll do python reg dot py it takes some time like you know sometimes it takes like you know depending upon your uh, how big the uh, like you know this uh, pdf is there or if you are if there are multiple pdfs uh, then also it will take some time or what people normally do is like you know they can create the embeddings uh, separately on a separate api and then we will store those embeddings vector embeddings and then query it out so in that manner what happens is like you know it will take little little lesser time see it doesn't then take that much time yeah so uh if we had uh, done a timeout thing then we would have uh, seen the actual thing so see it has given the sources okay let's go up 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 yeah so the answer for this is the auditors of reliance industries limited for the financial year ending on march 31st were uh, are deloitte haskins and sells llp chartered accountant and chaturvedi and sa llp chartered accountants okay so these are the auditors are there and the source documents also they are mentioning like you know page number 106 it's also giving the page number so like you know uh, uh, this is a if you want to have a link to that particular page then you can have the link to the particular page in production also so where is it? sorry yeah so and then again it is uh, page 64 we are uh, getting and page 7 uh, like you know 47 so this is how like you know we have only uh, taken right now uh, three chunks if you have taken five chunks then it would have given the page source link to that those five chunks also okay so i hope you have liked this thing uh, so from now onwards i'll be creating more ai uh, ai stuff out there and like you know I, because uh, before that i just wanted to have you guys familiar with api thing so that's why i created two small api videos and then how the requirements thing how the virtual environment creation part so now we will be more mostly focusing on uh, uh, like you know a full stack uh, uh, ai engineering uh, path and uh, data sometimes so i will post about data science stuff also so thank you very much thanks uh, do like share and subscribe my channel uh, will i'll post try to post more content similar content